Alrighty guys, so, um, now that we actually have 21,000, we're gonna go ahead and pay off Victor, uh, paid in full, alright, and, uh, another thing I wanna do is, I actually attempted to do this, uh, crap, I forgot what I was gonna say, oh yeah, I attempted to do this last episode, and I really couldn't figure out how to, but we're going to ride a metro train. An end cart is what they call it, I think. The Night City subway, basically. That's not a subway, but you know what I'm talking about. Alright, oh. Well, that guy's in a hurry. Alrighty. I ain't gonna lie, this game has evolved so much since it first came out. And it did have a rough start. I mean, due to being in development for about 10 years and them having to delay it a few times with, on top of uh, having a like very poor like release, it's updated so much. And it ended up getting its own Netflix series and stuff like that. Which I love the Netflix series, I have watched it and all that. But just the fact that now we're here, about to ride a subway train that was shown in the trailer. What the heck is that dude doing, bro? I'm just gonna. Walk through here casually. How you doing, officer? Alrighty, um... End car. Night City Area Rapid Transit. Alright. This is the most dangerous part that we're gonna have to risk our lives. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, oh man. Don't ever do this in real life. Okay. There we go. NCPD. NCPD trouble. Well, done wasted like four bullets. Nice. Inventory. What about our knife? Our throwing knife. Nice. Anybody else? How about you? Thank you. Skill. Our sack cat. There we go. Gear to components. Da -da. Something about him. Ah, ah. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. I don't feel like getting caught by the cops for doing their job. Alrighty. Here we are. Right, Metro to Watson.
know what the worst thing is about this place? For a minute, I thought that was the female version of V. I don't know why. The longtime head of the Japanese mega crowds was reported slain. No, the fucking smell. While attending a family gathering. True. Sweet it is not. Chum, you could boil shit in piss and it still smelled better than this fucking dump. Supporting this claim. According to market analysts, the CEO's death may have been a desperate attempt to divert attention. You're now at Sarasti and Republic. After the break, we ask experts how they see Arasaka rebounding from the crisis. This little train ride's kind of nice. Rest the Rusty and Republic. I think. Let's look at that. Oh. Oh, here we go again. Next stop Alexander Street. Alright, let's see how far we are. Um. Alexander Street. Okay, so that's the Alexander Street stop. So if we follow this one, uh, I have no idea, like, what we're looking at here. Like, fast travels, maybe? Nope. Oops, my bad. Fast travels. So we stop for a minute. We go to Alexander Street. Uh, it's not giving me any fast travels for. Never mind. You're now at Alexander Street. Alright. Alexander Street. Here we go. Let's look out the window here, real quick. That would actually help. You know what? We're gonna stand by the door. That would probably help out a lot. You lonely, honey? I can help. No. <laughs> What? We just got hit on. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh, this train ride just got more interesting. Next stop, Farrier and Ferguson. All right, there we go. I don't need that female hitting on me again. NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported at corner of Drake and Cartwright. Tiger Claw gang members suspected of armed robbery and extortion are at the scene. Leader is Mokomichi Yamada, aka Motorboy. Cities put up a reward for the removal of Yamada and his accomplices from the area. Uh okay. I mean Dispatch, let's see. NCPD scanner. I keep doing that again. I don't know why I keep hitting the wrong button, but okay. Okay, so there's Ferguson. So then we go this way. What? I don't understand any of these, like... End cart. Uh, Goldsmith. I think this is like the like what the dispatcher was talking about. We'll see. Thank you. Let's see.
Alright. Over here. We go around the corner. Nice. Bam. Bam. Dang, I missed. Bam. Bam. Thank you for your cyberware shard. Boom. Thank you so much for your uh, cooperation. Now it is time for me to dip out. Go. All righty. Now it is time for next stop, Victor's. Try go around this way because this is the only way we can go. Never really got to explore Night City on foot, so it's always good to actually do that. Um, Don't dare shoot her! I got you! Run! Go! Dang, I missed! Well, try to throw my knife, but again, I'm sucking at, like, this game. Alright, come on. Throat shot. Anybody else? I'll take the Lexington. Now let's see. Pistol, the Lexington, the colorful gun. That I don't really care about to be honest, but you know, I might use it. Put it in my, uh, um, inventory. Uh, I'm gonna steal this bike. God. Why did I change my mind about this jacket? I don't know. There's something wrong with me. Maybe. Who knows. But this bike, bro? The drift, beautiful. Alrighty, off the victors. Alright, let's pay them off now. 34,000. 34,000. Oh, Victor! I got you your, uh... Money. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. I'm not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an eddy. That's what friends are for. Alrighty. Now, it is on to the next part. Um, let's see. Maybe we could do at least, maybe one or two gigs, map. Uh, Ferry and Ferguson. 
There's an NCPD dispatch mission right there. Alright. Let's see. You know what? We're gonna stop by the apartment real quick. Because this is actually bothering me pretty much. Okay, stop there. There we go. Turn that way. Maybe we could check on Barry? Did we check on Barry? Let's check on Barry. See how he's doing after I change. There we go. I might see if I will get a motorcycle. I don't know, maybe I was gonna try this jacket, but like, this so ain't me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Transfer, inventory. Now, this is. Now, this is. an alright jacket. There we go. Suits us perfectly. Well, suits me perfectly, at least. There we go. Boom. Bam. I don't know, I just had to customize my body real quick. Uh, maybe get a new car, so... We don't have to worry about our... So we don't have to wait on our car getting fixed. Thornton. I'll get the Thornton Galena. There we go. Vehicle acquired. Some of y'all are probably thinking it's a dumb investment, but, you know, screw it. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just wanted to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. And in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. I lost someone close to me too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... I told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known him my whole life. 
Only person I could spill it to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. All right, let's talk to the cops. Even though we don't really do that, but it's you. You talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. I'll cry out loud, Mendez. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Nice. We done made some money. Alright. Transfer funds. Oh, nice. We made a thousand dollars. We're so poor. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only seventy per one hundred. Alrighty, down the elevator. And then we're going to do a quick uh, NCPD mission, and then we're going to go talk to Takimura. Welcome to today's local news on N54. I'm Jillian Jordan. For the third consecutive year, Militech has been touted as Night City. Let's call our car here real quick. Uh, walk closer to the sidewalk. There we go. Where is that? There it is. My little beater. My loner. I ain't too worried about because I'm going to make some more money anyways. Times turn around, go stop some crime, talk to Takimura, and then skills make up throw. Oh, shoot. 
almost went the wrong way. Well, I mean, I missed my turn, but I almost went on the freeway. Let's see, this way. Sorry. What's your problem? My bad. No, that's really my bad. All right. Let's see. We got a tiger claws problem. There we go. I'll take that back. And... There we go. Dollar chat, and... I might as well take that for... style, I guess. Extract a couple of euro dollars. Shoot. Well, I tried. Oh, well, it gives us a second chance to try again. Alright. One C E9, there we go. And then Brain Dance, Brain Dance. Boo oh, would you look at that? Yeah! We got everything hacked into. Nice! Inventory. Assault rifle. There we go. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh, I kind of like this one. And the scope on this thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Now. Journal. Try talking to Barry again in a few hours. Well, we ain't too worried about Barry right now. We can check back on Barry. He seems cool. Let's go check on, uh, Takimura. Ready right down the hill. Well, obviously we have to go this way, don't we? Yep, we're gonna have to turn around. That's okay. There we go, let's go have a discussion with Takimura. Sit. What do you think I'm you doing? You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted that you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin. You must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and the Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. 
I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard Let me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. 
But I want to get rid of it. He's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the Earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed, gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. I got you, Takamara. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our sock is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. <laughs> hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? <laughs> Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. So we're gonna end off right here. So before we end off, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notifications for more cyberpunk content. Anyways, that is it for this time, and I will see you guys next time.